I'm gonna try to get that aerator into the garage today. I got this battery here because this aerator's battery's dead. I'm gonna try to start it up and get it in the garage so then I can start working on it over the winter. So I need to go get a 7-8 wrench and replace this battery. Then I should be able to start it up. I meant to say 7 16 wrench. So that's the right one there. Just need to get this battery off of here and change this battery out. Either that or I could jump it, but I don't have any jumper cables with me. And I just happen to have this extra battery. All right, so this battery should come out fairly easily, I would think. Oh, lovely. That's pretty much what I figured would happen. Is a dead battery, that's gotta go. And then this one I'm gonna go in here. That needs to be like that. And I don't know if that's gonna be long enough now. There we go. There we go. So I don't know if that's gonna work because the positive was over here and the negative. This battery's a little bit different. This is the battery from my little Oh, that sucks. Got the wrong wrench. And that's not even gonna be long enough, so that needs to come over here. So that's gonna have to get flipped around. That's not long enough. So that positive needs to come all the way over to here. I've got the wrong wrench for that, so I gotta go get three eighths. Forgot I got these pliers with me. That's gonna have to go like that. I just need to get it over to the garage where I can play with it. So it's definitely going to need some playing with. I'm going to have to extend these leads or get new ones or something. Because this isn't going to work. Okay. So that is definitely sucky like that, but it's better than the nothing for the time being. Need to put these tires on really quick. Well, that's not tall enough now. Oh, crap. All right, so that should go on there like that. And put that on there. So I took these tires off so I could go get new ones. And just now getting to putting them back on there. So you can see I put that battery under there. So hopefully that doesn't cause me a problem. This should be pretty self-explanatory. Put the choke on there, turn the throttle up, and then crank it. Quite a bit of water going on. Been sitting out in the rain. That's good. Turn the choke off. Half choke on. Basically got the half choke for just a minute. Until it warms up. This thing drives on its own, so I need to get it over into the garage. Hopefully I can get it off of that battery. See that? It needs some carb work. It doesn't want to work with a choke off. But it's too low. One of these. Should be able to get this thing to go now. in low and that's the gear that you're gonna use when you're uh, actually using the machine. It goes pretty fast actually with the front. So I've got a lot of leaf work still to do to clean up.
So it does work pretty good. I just want to bring it in here and clean it up. Uh, clean up the carb and put new of this and that on there and fix, get new tines, fix this stuff. But for the most part, it works good. It needs an oil change, stuff like that. Minimal stuff. I'm going to check the belts, check everything on here. Hydraulic fluid it does have hydros. I don't know how old the gas is that's in there. Get this off of here. So see how this thing works? It's got a camshaft and they punch. It punches straight down into the ground. So I want to try to clean up as much of this as possible and figure out what's wrong. These levers over here don't do anything. So those are gonna need to be fixed and figured out what they do. Just need to figure out what these cables do. So got one cable, what the crap is that? Oh, that's a safety switch. So it's looking to me like this is just a simple safety switch. And then this, this cable actually does something. So I'm thinking, not exactly sure where to start with this thing. The hydraulic ram right there lifts up and down the tines and then engages the tines. I'm pretty sure. I see this pulley right here and that pulley is driving this pump right here. So that's a hydraulic pump. This is the hydraulic reservoir. That's a hydraulic ram. So upon further examination, I see another shaft coming off the engine over there and that's driving that belt there and that's gonna be driving the wheels. So I don't know if I can take the engine off, I don't know. Just have to sit and play with it and see what I can do. But yeah, it looks like a fun project and one I'm looking forward to tackling. Hopefully I don't put tons and tons of money into this thing like I did the mower over there. I put a lot of money into that mower. And I don't even know if this thing's worth, worth it or not. I paid $1,000 for it and, and I just put about $50 into these tires. And then I do know that I'm gonna have to fix a little bit of this and a little bit of that here and there. Half inch. Ooh, wonder what's behind here. Oh, ho, ho. chain, and the sprocket. There, so that is, if I can feel that bolt, there's a nut on the underside of that bolt right there. I don't know how I'm gonna get in there to... So it's looking to me like I need to go get some blocks and a jack. I'm just gonna have to block this up. Cause this little cover right here is gonna have to come off. Gotta take the tire off, then the cover which is okay, that's okay. It's all in a day's work there, folks. Tinkering around with this kind of stuff, really like doing this kind of stuff. It's just kind of a troubleshooting deal. And I really kind of want to put this thing up kind of high so I can put it up on blocks so I can work on it and see what I need to do and how to do it. And the hardest thing about doing this kind of stuff is just figuring out how it all goes back together when you tear it apart. So I just wanna make sure I've got it all correct. And this gear is gonna go in there. So nice to get the triplex put away for the winter. I'm just gonna store it right there for now. I might roll that sucker out to the shed eventually, but this is where my priorities are currently, and this is what I'm gonna do. Want to get the tires off, get it up, get the gas tank off, uh, see about taking the engine off, 
clean it all up. So this is gonna be a multi-video ordeal here for you. So I think I don't think I'm gonna do anything more on it tonight. I will finish it later or it's gonna take a long time to finish. So I need to figure out what parts are good, what parts are bad, what safety switches are controlling what so I can, um, yeah. That'll pretty well do it for this video and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I got, when I've got it, and how I've got it done a little bit later. So stay tuned and we'll get it done. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.